Hey YouTube. Recently there's been a quite a few videos out about SHTF and I guess that's why I'm making some videos on SHTF. They're not actually video responses uh, to any particular channel but there is a foursome out there of by a foursome I mean four different YouTube channels that are basically kind of going back and forth with one another and uh, most of the videos seem to be inspired by the K-Goat channel and then uh, there's usually video responses from the Miami Prepper uh, General S. Lee and Irish's channel and these guys go round and round talking about SHTF and the different uh, philosophies, different uh, ideas, and uh, I, I, I dig it. I like it a lot. And it really got me to thinking about this video about will there be leadership during an SHTF situation. And I believe there will be leadership in a post-SHTF situ uh, situation uh, for rebuilding. But during an SHTF, uh, will there be leadership? And I guess more importantly, will that leadership be good or bad? Um, and if there is a leader during the S uh, an SHTF, uh, say in your community, what qualities would you want that individual to have? Would you want that individual to have military experience? Would you want that person to be young and ambitious? Not cocky, young and ambitious. Or would you prefer an older or wiser individual for a leadership role? Are you interested in leading in an SHTF situation? I think that can be very risky to put yourself out there like that. But there could be a lot of rewards for stepping up and being a leader in a SHTF situation. Is the point of prepping for you maybe to avoid these issues and just worry about you and your family because I believe at some point you are going to have to be involved in a community whether it's with some neighbors, your family, uh, a family of two or three uh, you know parents and a couple young kids do not stand a chance uh, long term in an SHTF situation. So maybe that's why you prep. Maybe you want to be the lone wolf. But how long are your preps going to last? What if the SHTF situation lasts longer than your preparations? Maybe eventually you're going to run out of food or water or water filtration. Then what are you going to do? So if you look for leadership, because let's be honest, most human beings are sheeple and they want to be told what to do. Most people don't want to step up and be a leader. But I think in this situation, when we're talking about a SHTF, I think it may be a good thing that you don't step up to be a leader in that situation. I think that that could be very harmful. Uh, or even deadly to do that. Uh, it, I don't want to bring up The Walking Dead, but <laughs> I just did. And you look at Rick, a very complex individual uh, that has that background, uh, being a police officer or sheriff, whatever he is, or was, uh, has that mentality of, uh, you know, police... Uh, law enforcement is is that the kind of guy that you want to have as a leader um, or is it somebody that's a little bit more subdued you know you look in our 
history and there's been I wouldn't say great leaders but there's been negative leaders uh, let's look at Adolf Hitler <laughs> uh, probably the worst guy you could think uh, the devil himself uh, you know that, that the worst case for human spirit that you could think of but this guy basically brainwashed a country into war uh, you know but everything that Adolf Hitler did was was it bad I mean I'm not praising the guy but if history if I can remember correctly I think he was kind of responsible for the beginning of Volkswagen um, rocket engines jet propulsion uh, built infrastructure into Germany uh, railroads and uh, damn I'm thinking of the name of the freeway out there the Autobahn I think he was responsible for that as well so I mean some of those things are good things but the guy was a monster um, just save your comments guys I, I'm not praising Adolf Hitler here I'm just making an example out of a a leader that can maybe take you down a really dark road but also at the same time do some positive things um, so if your preps do run out and <clears throat> it is a long term and when I say SHTF I mean like a nationwide this you know affects the entire country or the world type situation I'm not talking about being in without power for two weeks um, if you go and try to join a group or get involved during an SHTF what would those leaders want from you if you're asking for food help protection uh, what are their demands going to be? Are they going to enslave you? You know, so what What are they going to want from you? What are their terms going to be? You know, I believe that good, leader, uh, good leaders aren't born and they're made. I think someone said that at some point. don't know who. But knowing how to motivate people and to attain a common goal, having some kind of skills to negotiate, uh, problem solve, team build, and setting expectations for people in a group. They're important qualities to have as a leader. But again, I don't know what's the best idea here for you to step up as a leader in this type of situation. Guys, these are just random thoughts. I'm just throwing them out there. I'm throwing out a lot of questions and a lot of comments. And I'm hoping that you guys will interact with either a VR or uh, comments of your own. Um, are, are, are you that person? Are you that person to motivate somebody? Negotiate for them? Offer them protection? Shelter? Ration food? Um, I think that's a very, very stressful situation. And the thing is, is if you're watching this video, chances are you're watching a lot of videos on the zombie apocalypse, SHTF, whatever, whatever, you know, collapse uh, that you feel is coming. And if you're watching these types of videos, then obviously you're giving it some thought as well. And most people aren't thinking about these things, to be honest with you. I mean... So the fact that you're at least watching the videos shows that you have interest in this subject and maybe a better idea of how to handle certain things in SHTF. And here's the thing, none of us right now in America have ever experienced at least the SHTF type situation that I'm talking about, a nationwide grid down type situation. So 
you know, do we know how people are going to react? No. But do we know how they react on Black Friday? If they don't get that TV that they went to the store for? So, history can kind of show us how people are going to react in certain situations. And if you're hungry and don't get your TV, well, that's just a double whammy, isn't it? <laughs> so, I think that maybe the better question here is, how do we rebuild after a collapse or an SHTF? You know, what type of people are going to stand up? Uh, and what's the time frame to start rebuilding after an SHTF, uh, a post-SHTF situation? Is it the day that it ends, we start rebuilding? You give 30 days, 60 days, 90 days to let see what happens, make sure everything's really at rest here, and we can move on? I don't know. I think preppers are natural leaders anyway. And here's why I say that. We kind of go against the grain anyway, right now, in what we're doing. That, to the point where some people label us as crazy. Now, I'm not talking doomsday prepper crazy, but just some of these products that you see in front of you. Ammunition, food, fire starting, flashlights, glow stick, lighter, beef cubes, uh, some gel, heat to cook on. Just putting away some of these type of products, making your own MRE, maybe people think you're crazy for doing that. But yet, we still move on and we still do these things because we feel that we're better prepared by doing that and we sleep better at night knowing we have these items so I think that kind of lends a leadership quality to what we're doing because not everybody's doing it and we're not being sheeple we're kinda taking care of ourselves, pulling up our own bootstraps. So, we still move forward with our plan of action. Survival. I look forward to your comments, guys. I threw a lot of questions and comments out there. And I'm curious. Would you step up in an SHTF situation as a leader? Would you wait till a post- SHTF situation would you camouflage yourself as much as possible that we taught that I hear people talking about in other videos I think it's interesting to at least think about it and would you be willing to step up or are you just gonna sit back even knowing that someone's leading and they're not doing a good job and they're not doing things right and you have the knowledge to make things right, would you do it? Thanks guys, I really appreciate your time. As always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.